If you want to support the show in a different way, you can go to marfuglenews.com slash VPN. What is going on, guys? It's Adam A.K. Marf, and this is Marfugal News. Today, we are going to be talking about uh, facial recognition and the scariness behind it. We're going to get right into an article, but first I want to let you guys know, you can always go right over to our website and find all of this information and more, more short videos, uh, web-only content on our website, marfuglenews.com. Now, if you go to this thumbnail, you will actually see that there is uh, all of the uh, appropriate articles and links attached on that on our website. Uh, But first, again, what is going on, Dex? How are you doing? You are my co-host and internet brother. How's your day going? Well, hello, Adam, and hello, Fugal fam. You know, I'm doing just fine. So facial recognition is scary. We've talked about this a lot on our show. Obviously, a lot of people don't realize how serious, I guess, it's gotten. Uh, you know, now they're making deep fakes out of the amount of face, uh, of, you know, face uh, data that they have out there. Uh, of course, this is pretty scary stuff. Uh, back when you were in the tech world, Dex, did you guys have facial recognition kind of play into any of the companies you worked for? Yeah, you know, you know, to me, facial recognition, it was very novel in the early days. It was like, you know, taking a picture and trying to distinguish, uh, you know, if you or your family member is in it, and that helps index the pictures in, say, your photo album. So you could see, find all the pictures of your kid and find all the pictures of your spouse. Um, now it is like getting down to a, a much more speedy, fast, and very specific science of who everyone is and indexing. When I say indexing, it means capturing every single variation of every face of every person out there. Uh, okay, so I'll read this article, but first of all, I, I probably don't have to tell any of you why this is not okay. Uh, you probably first saw it on Facebook when a few years back uh, you would put up a picture and and without even telling you know facebook who was in that picture all of a sudden it automatically tagged and it said hey is that steve and is that jill in the back of the picture and you'd say yeah that's scary uh that's not even you know how scary it gets we're talking about these computers and the ai that they have now are now identifying anything and everything in a word uh i mean you know when they say a, a picture is a thousand words right in AI terms, it's probably a million because they're going to map out every single picture you have online. That's why people are telling you don't put pictures of your kids and things like this online because later we don't know what's going to happen. I'm guilty of it. Most people are. And I, again, now we're finding out more and more and more about what is going to happen now. Out of Oakland, California, it says civil liberties activists are suing a company that provides facial recognition services to law enforcement agencies and private companies around the world, contending that Clearview AI illegally stockpiled data on 3 billion people without their knowledge or permission. It says that the lawsuit filed on Tuesday in Alameda County Superior Court in the San Francisco Bay Area contends that the New York-based firm violates California. California's constitution and seeks an injunction to bar it from collecting biometric information in uh, California and requiring it to delete the data on Californians, but I guess not on anybody else. Personally, I think that this should be deleted everywhere. I don't think that these companies should have this kind of information, uh, especially when you start seeing of what, how they are using this information. It says that the lawsuit says that the company has built the, quote, most dangerous facial recognition database in the nation and has fielded requests from more than 2,000 law enforcement agencies and private companies and has amassed a database nearly seven times larger than the FBI's. These are private companies with more information on us than the intelligence agencies. How in the world did they let this happen? Uh, Dex, have you thought about kind of the negative things that could happen from this? Oh yeah, other I countries mean, and, and getting what's their crazy hands. Is these guys are taking the data, and they're not even necessarily doing it appropriately. They're taking it from all of the social media out there. I mean, they're going through and and scraping all the pictures off of Facebook, off of Twitter, off of you know um, Google and other places, and taking any photo of any person everywhere so that they can index all of these faces. So when you post you, all of your family, I, I know people. I, I know uh, one of my uh, family friend. This this woman that I know. She posts every moment of her life 
uh, every single day, all, all the, the, you know, the, the guy she's dating, uh, where they go. I mean, I'm, you're talking about from morning. It's like a blog only in picture form. All of those pictures then get scraped and put together her entire history, where she's been, where, you know, what she's doing, what she likes, what she, what she buys. Every part of this information is being kept and stored. And this is dangerous. This is absolutely dangerous. This isn't a, a, a government agency. This isn't an agency that, you know, should have, have this. There's no oversight on this. What are they doing with our pictures? This is why it is not right. That's, that's my opinion on this. And I don't think it's right either if the governments have this. But again, you know, at least they might have some sort of excuse for it. Like, you know, preventing uh, T cells from growing and, and, you know, another September 2001. But this is different. This is a company that has more, seven times more information than FBI. It's absolutely scary. And this is where it's going. And it's going to be, uh, you know, sold to these these other entities that are going to use it for nefarious reasons it's not just sales people say oh well who cares they're just using it for advertising or for you know selling it this or that no this is in the future i hope you realize that our future could change drastically we saw this from just the last year everything can change on the drop of a dime dex do you have anything even to even if this company sorry adam even no, if go this ahead. company just said, hey, we're only doing it for law enforcement purposes only, and we'll only give it to law enforcement purposes. How do we trust that this company itself doesn't get infiltrated and attacked or hacked, and all of that data gets sucked out and has been then distributed to multiple nefarious entities, right? No, that's, no, no. You know, that's pretty scary. This is also going to go into the cancel culture and everything else that's going on right now that, that's being perpetrated and, and it's being put out to you as, as, as you know, everybody wants this. No. And online is, is running our lives. Now, listen to this next part very carefully. It says, Clearview has provided thousands of governments, thousands of governments, government agencies, and private entities access to its database, which they then can use to identify people with dissident views, monitor their associations, and track their speech. Listen to this. This is where it gets scary. You want to talk about being canceled or tracked or watched? This is what is happening. Uh, you may know or you may know somebody that has been affected by what is going on. There is no more free speech. People say, well, you can say that. No, no, no. If you say certain things, it will be blocked or you will be deleted. That's what's going on. There's this illusion of free speech, but really, if you say the wrong thing, it will get out, but then it will be deleted and you will be forgotten. Or it will be held back to where only the people that physically try to go find you can find it. That is scary. And the word dissident comes into this a lot. There's a lot of things going on on a multi-level. The thing is, is now other cultures, we think of the United States. And again, it doesn't matter if you're in Europe or Australia or Spain or wherever you're at. A lot of this is the world kind of combining into one. There are rules that are normally in countries that are considered even, you know, third world or uh, countries that are considered backwards and, you know, 100 years behind. But those rules, because of, the, you know, that company, that country having a lot of money and that country having a huge part of uh, our debt and things like this, it's like we're taking on some of the way that they live their lives. Look at the surveillance, look at the cameras, look at everything that's going on. Look at the censorship online. It's all coming together right now. And people have to realize that this, uh, just me saying this is considered, I'm considered a dissident at this point. That's just crazy to me. Free speech is, is going away rapidly. So you need to share this with people and hopefully somebody you know that posts a lot of pictures online, hopefully they will see this. Because it's, it will and can be used against you, especially if you don't have the right view. People that have even the, the considered you know right view, it may change in five years to where all of a sudden you can't say anything. What if the other side got, got a hold of it? That was the whole point of it, that we could talk and speak and, and you, you know there was stuff that we didn't like. That's too bad. That's the point of free speech. Now they're talking about free speech corners and all this crazy stuff. 
We have to have freedom of expression and freedom of ideas. Otherwise, we're no longer the country we were in. Or it, you're not in Europe. You're not in Australia. You're seeing it all over the world. And it's all combining into one. Into one order. So, thank you, and Dex. Not, hey, Adam, last thing. Not just, avoid, just avoiding so, social media with your pictures won't solve the problem. Okay? Because you're going to be in the background of some millennial selfie and your face is going to pop into it, right? They're going to pick it up that way. You're going to be walking down the street and a camera is going to get it and they're going to pick it up. They're so going to they're going to nobody, post Nobody, we're all vulnerable to this one. They're going to post footage uh, you know, say of a car accident. You were sitting there on the corner of the street and that uh 4K camera that was on the corner that ended up getting used for some internet video, that got your face. Uh, you know, surveillance of a guy stealing a uh, a Twix bar from 7-Eleven. That video ends up getting picked up. It doesn't matter where you are. They're scraping it from every single piece that is on online anywhere. And it's only going to get worse. All right. Well, thank you, Dex, and uh, appreciate you. Uh, again, Dex is my internet brother. You guys can go over to the website to find his information, his website, Twitter, and everything else. Follow me at Marfugel over on Twitter if you want to get updates of when we go live. Uh, of course, sometimes we need to actually record videos rather than go live, so that that is what we are doing tonight. I appreciate all of you guys. Thank you. And uh, we will most likely, if it's a weekday, have a live show tonight. Have a great day, be safe, be prepared, and marf out. If you guys want to protect yourself against EMP, I would highly recommend going with the same route that agencies are going with uh, right as we speak. Of course, EMP Shield has been Keystone military tested. It will ground the signal before frying your devices. And by devices, I mean all sorts of devices. Uh, talking about uh, they make a device for your car. They make a device for your uh, generator, for your home, for your RV, for your boat. There's all different devices. You can go to uh, marfuglenews.com com slash EMP and of course protect yourself against all three phases of an EMP including their car model which is their most popular and can be put in and installed in about five minutes so then you are not stuck if the lights go out uh, I, again that's marfuglenews.com slash EMP thank you guys for supporting us uh, small commission goes to us and you guys get a huge discount so it works for everybody <laughs> Feed the haters to the alligators. Your way or the highway. See you later. BOD is the homie and Mr. Vader. If it wasn't for you, I would never made it. Whole city's covered by the cremated. Now they listen to what we were saying. Doesn't matter if the manufacturer or created. But now, but later, responsibility and underrated. They just won't say it. Till the cities like the bricks they be laying. Twitter deaths is now displaying. Schools shut down and they just ain't playing. People panicking, freezing like a mannequin. Miss, we be smashing them. Bibliotech. He is bagging them. Fugal family is a force like Anakin. First Amendment, we be packing them. Family values, we ain't lagging them. Gold and silver better be stashing them. No point to go, go, platinum.